Hi, this is Matt with AppWorks, and this is part two of my Anchor Buoy video. This is going to focus more on how to do it. So in this example, um, let's say we're going to add a notes table to this CRM solution that we have here. So if I take a look at the graph, I've already added the table, and it's over here. And two things I want to really hit. So first of all, we talked in the other video about um, how you only ever make a layout based on the leftmost occurrence. Well, when I made this table, um, it automatically created a layout for it. And I might want to have other things that hang off of note over time, like, I don't know, an audit log or something like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to respect that this first occurrence is actually going to be the head of its own um, table occurrence group. And then I'm going to option drag it to make a copy and connect it to company. Okay, so the way that I do this relationship, um, usually what I do is I just kind of grab any two fields and then I hit Command O, Control O on Windows, which opens up the Edit Relationship dialog. I find this much more useful to connect um, the fields together for the relationship than to try to do it on a little tiny um, uh, graph by dragging the right field. So this is going to be Company ID to ID Company, and um, then I'll click Change and accept that. And then the next part is really important is the naming convention. So if I just went to my layout now and I tried to add a field from, from here, um, actually more specifically, I'm going to add a portal. So it's going to come up with my portal dialog. And I don't know if it's note two or, you know, which one, because I've got, actually, that's the only one that's showing right now because note I can't even choose because it's not related. Um, but it's not very it's not very clear, like looking at the, the graph, like what my naming convention is. So I'm going to go back to the graph and I'm going to take a look at how I've done these other ones. And the underscore character in the name of a table occurrence has a very specific meaning. And it means there's a relationship between here and there. So if you take a look at this track here, I've got from company to company employee to company employee phone. Every underscore only means one thing, and that's a relationship. In a more formalized approach, sometimes what I do is I actually have a double, like I, I give a, a code. So for example, I would call this one um, C double underscore company. And the double underscore is the head. And then everything from there on, I just use a single underscore and then whatever the code is for that group. Um, so let's actually convert this one to that approach. So you can see that's actually a very fast thing to do. Um, and that makes the names shorter. So if you have a lot of relationships, if you go four, five, six levels out, um, having that shorter code is definitely a nice uh, feature. The, the thing we have in the middle, the, or the rightmost word, is, is generally the name of the table that, you're, that this is, is referring to. So this is the employee table, invoice table, sales rep table. In this case, employee and sales rep are actually both connected to the person table, which I can see. Um, so they're just two different instances of a person. So one of them is an employee, one's an, um, a sales rep. Okay, the note table, if I double click, that connects to the note table. And I'm gonna give it the name C underscore note. <laughs> the humor of the fact that that's actually also a hundred dollar bill is not lost on me. Okay, then I see crossing lines. Crossing lines make me crazy. So I'm gonna move these down a little bit. Move this up to here um, and make it all pretty. And um, and now I have my graph kind of working and clean and good. So if I click OK to save this, I'll see if I add a portal now, <clears throat> that it'll be very clearly named. So I can see all my, my, my top table is here, and all of my related fields are, are here. So I can see C note. And then when I click OK, I'll actually start seeing fields over here that I can start adding in, and I can use the right tool. So I'm going to say I'm going to put a label above uh, in C note. Um, oops, wrong window, and then I can choose the specific ones that I want, which is going to be the date and the note. And maybe is done, which is a Boolean field that I use to track if the note is complete or not. OK. And when I click OK, they come across, um, I modify their relative widths. I also did not, in, in the graph, and that's something I need to fix right now, 
right now I can't make a new rec record here. So let me go to the graph and fix one thing. And that is to uh, click this box on the bottom that allows you to create records through this relationship. I only really ever click this one. I don't usually click the ones on the other side. And I also very, very rarely use delete or sort because those are really special purpose fields in FileMaker. Okay, so now I should actually be able to say, oh, on today I did, this is a note. And I've completed adding a portal, uh, even though there are no labels, and shown kind of an easy way that you can use AnchorBuoy in your solutions. Thanks for your time.